Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Agfa Isoflash Rapid C. It's from about 1966. It's one of the simpler rapid cassette cameras made. Uh, it was made to, com to compete with the Kodak Instamatic cartridge cameras. It uses regular perforated 35mm film, but in these rapid cassettes, it's based on the older Agfa Carat system. I had to buy two cameras in order to get enough cartridges, of course, because each one you get usually comes with an empty one. So the way it worked is the feed cartridge goes in here, the empty cartridge from your last batch goes in here, and the film advance pushes it into the empty cartridge. I actually ended up with three of these. I uh, The second one I got went into a box somewhere. I couldn't find it. So now I have three of them and four of these cartridges. I loaded it with some old Polaroid 100 speed film since most of the old Agfa films were pretty slow. 24 exposures barely fit. And there's not a central spool or anything. It's just a loose uh, spool inside the, I've heard these are felt-lined cartridges. The third one that I got came with some film in it. I was hoping for some found photos, but I got nothing out of it. This is some CT18 Agfa Chrome. It, used, it was slide film. It used a process called Process 41. What I found on the web, people have struck out treating it as E6 slides, trying to process it in C41 color print. I tried this one in HC110 black and white uh, chemicals. Because I've had a little bit of luck with old Kodachrome and C22 slide film, getting black and white negatives out of it. This, I got nothing. On some of these cameras, more sophisticated than this one, the length of this metal tab right here will set the film speed for the camera. Um, this one doesn't do it. I got a couple of different lengths of these. doesn't really matter. Um, the camera itself shoots um, 24 centimeter, not 24 centimeter, 24 millimeter square frames. You get 16 rolls normally. Um, and when you count down with it loaded with, you know, 24 exposures, you get 16, the thing will lock. So in the dark, you get to pop the back, reset the counter, and then you can keep shooting. It has an Isotar uh, F8.2 lens. It's fixed focus from five feet to infinity. It's got a two-speed Parator shutter. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. I think it's made up word. Uh, it's got a sunny setting, which is an 80th of a second, and a cloudy setting that's a 40th of a second. If you plug in flash cube, not the later magic cubes, it automatically sets it to a 40th of a second. Um, this will run fine without batteries, but it won't drive the flash. It originally used the 6-volt PX23 Mercury battery. I got one in this really complete kit. It's dead though. But thankfully, there's enough slop in the battery compartment, which you just pop off the bottom. They tell you to use a coin, but it's thin metal, so it pops off. And I was able to use this stack of LR44s taped together. There's four of them to make up the six volts. Fired the flash just fine. Got that backwards. It's actually kind of a fun camera. Mostly it was just, hey, can I get this thing to work? Use this extinct cartridge system. It was a lot of fun. So since I have three of the things, um, I'll probably load one of them up with black and white and try again. So until then, I'll see you then.